Kyle, Nick Silverstein here. Um, today I decided to make a long overdue tutorial on how to install Mac OS Sierra on a Dell Latitude E60 E620 computer. It could be an E6520, an E6220, an E6320, and an E6420. All you need is my written guide, which is right here. Um, explains exactly how to do it, step by step. And all you need is one of my EFI folders from here, specific to your model. Now, if you notice, I have the E6220, the E6420, the E6420 NVIDIA, which is Optimus, and I have E6520, which is Optimus 2. Um, what I don't have is an E6320, because I don't own one at the moment, but uh, the E6220 should work fine on the E6320. And what, I sh what I'll show you is inside of here is if you go into here, you unzip it and you get this folder and then EFI. And all you have to do is make the USB stick like it says in this guide. You just make the USB stick here and you install Clover onto the USB stick. And then you just copy this EFI folder to the EFI partition of the USB stick and you're set in gold. And all, all you have to do is when you install Mac, you install Clover to the main hard drive and you install this same EFI folder into your, um, your, your Dell's hard drive. And then you go into Clover, Gex, Other, and LE. You copy the files that are in the this folder to Macintosh HD System Library Extensions, and you run Gex Utility. And that's about it. You know, that's all you have to do. And you have Mac OS Sierra on your Hackintosh. Now these are labeled high Sierra because these EFI folders as of today's date which is Saturday July 22nd um, 2017 the Mac OS high Sierra is currently in beta 3 and it works with the beta 3 so far and it should work with the latest version of High Sierra when it's released. This folder contains all the stuff you need to install High Sierra also. All you have to do is download High Sierra from the Mac App Store in your Sierra install and literally upgrade it as if you did on a real Mac. And it works like a charm. It even works with the new Apple file system. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, leave a comment down below if, you, if it worked for you. Um, just uh, And write me an email if you have any problems. Or write a comment if you have any problems. I prefer if you write me a comment if you have any problems. So maybe your comment would help someone else out. Um, that's about it. Just follow my guide, uh, get these two items, plus your EFI folder. They will be in the description, and uh, that's about it. All right, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and thank you again for watching. And I really do appreciate it. All right, see ya. Bye.